definitely a lot more spatter. That bead isn't one to lay down. It looks a little cooler. With those curls in the toes, this one probably worked out the best, but you gotta remember, without having the proper penetration, that weld just might be as good as a cock gun. Hot as can be. Whoa, I'd say that's extremely hot. Well, that was crazy. This wire is just getting vaporized before it gets to the plate. As you can see, it's super hot as far as the weld goes. If you got that voltage way up there and not enough wire, you got a lot of problems on your hands. We're going to turn it up to like 600. Now, remember, wire feed speed is directly related to your amperage, so it should penetrate a lot more. Yeah, I don't think we need to get too far into that. Now, looking at it back here, you can see there's a visible hole in it. Remember, your wire feed speed is your amperage, and this wire, especially at 1 16th inch diameter, will dig a freaking hole straight through the backside here. Let's see what happens if we have not enough wire. So again, we can adjust it right here. We can even have a second set of adjustment on the actual freedom drive itself, where you have kind of an aggressive change, and then this is kind of your fine tuning. We're gonna turn it all the way down to about 170. Not having enough wire, that's a good way to mess up a weld. Like I was saying, when you do aluminum really bad, it looks really, really bad. And of course, not having enough wire coming out for the voltage we had definitely welded that aluminum right to the copper tip. And we're gonna have to put a new, new contact tip on. We didn't even make any weld. 